Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to Rain 12 episode 10 of Beast Search. You're probably wondering, or I've been wondering for the past couple of days, where the hell was my reaction on Thursday? Well, supposedly, um, let me tell you this real quick. Uh, I was supposed to watch on Thursday, like, dead fucking ass, and, but I was watching, I watched one show, then I watched the Game Awards, and then I had to watch something else so that I could get it out, like, ASAP. And by the time I finished the show that I really had to get done, I was hella tired. I was like, I'm going to bed. I'm done for the night. And plus, I was doing some other things, too. Then on Friday, I had to go to a, um, <clears throat> a graduation party for my mom's friend's daughter and then celebrate with her and everything. And we got home around, like, 12 o'clock. We tried watching a movie, and then we, you know, my mom fell asleep because it was my mom's birthday yesterday. So uh, I stayed up a little while longer, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then it was like, Two o'clock in the morning, and I went to sleep, and I was like, fuck it, I'll just do it tomorrow when I get up and when I have energy. So, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Honestly, I'm really excited to see what the fuck happens in this episode. No one's really told me anything, thank God, but I, I just, like, I, I've seen, did I see anything? No, I didn't really see anything, but, I mean... Hopefully, in this episode, Haru gets rescued. If not in 10, it better be in fucking 11 or 12. Because I think, what, we got two more weeks of this show for his son? And if they end this show on a fucking cliffhanger, you know, we're going to have problems. Really, really fucking problems. And, you know, that's not going to be good in my book. Do not be like some shows that I've watched where they end the damn series on a fucking cliffhanger because then we'll never know if this show gets a second season and i would like this show to get the second season a lot of shows but this show kind of really needs a second season because it depicts so many things about situations that happen in real life and just the the fact that they're dealing with this this has real human emotion and this is a show that honestly anybody should fucking watch whether you're an anime fan or not i mean i'm so I'm kind of pissed that, yes, Netflix has it, and the fact that, you know, it ain't coming out until, I think, the beginning of next year, but the fact is that people still have to wait so long. I mean, think about the Carol and Tuesday fans. They gotta wait until, I think, what, next fucking week to get the second half of Carol and Tuesday? I get that, but still at the same time, I was like, I was happy when I did the whole damn series reaction, because I was like, fuck that, I ain't waiting for shit. But you can't find her. I mean, can't you do something like what Ichigo does where you, oh Jesus Christ. Um, okay, kitty. Like what Ichigo does where he just like focuses on like one particular thing. What he did with the freaking broke things in like episode five, six, or ten or whatever to look for Udio. Oh, fuck. He's about to get his ass whooped. Legacy, you poor, poor doggo. Oh, fuck! I mean, come on, he's a high school student. Oh, fuck. Panda? Hey! I figured he would have been in an episode. Yeah! I'm still gonna call you Panda. The badass Panda. <laughs> mm. 
Plus, you can't really go by yourself. I mean, you have no weapons. Uh-huh. I mean, damn, they're worse than fucking Giaki and my hero. Bruh. No. Because he loves her. Let him be the Spider Man to her Mary Jane. Did I really say that? Idiot, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I'm already tearing up. Like I see, wait, you can't go by yourself. <laughs> Went to go save girlfriend. You know what I really assumed what was going to happen if Haru didn't get kidnapped? That Juno would have came up to Haru. They would have had a conversation. She probably would have threatened Haru. But, mm. yes. Okay, I'm not a man. Well, you know, why don't y'all just make a musical and just sing about it? You smell her? Nah, -uh -uh. you didn't eat her. No, there's no way in hell. She's up there with y'all boss. Yo, damn, I honestly thought he was going to kill him. Mm -hmm.
Oh, fuck. Yeah, see, you should have grabbed that gun. Oh, Panda? Yeah, man. I knew you wouldn't resist. <sighs> Thank you. I know, baby, but you have to do it. It's a kill or kill, be killed situation. If you want to save Haru, you have to do some killing. Yes, you might get some PTSD from that, and that is totally fine. It happens to everybody. Whether the kill was intentional or not, you're still either trying to save yourself or even Haru. Now go save your girlfriend, please. Supposed to be Go, baby, go! go. Now, okay, get up and go! Go! Don't you fucking stop. Keep going and go get the boo. Go. Bro, you think that damn chair is going to take his ass down? Go. It's so hard. Yeah, because the last time we saw her, she was chilling in the bath. Oh. Oh. Yeah, because, um, that is hunger, bruh, and that is blessed. Hunger or horny? <laughs> the two H's. <laughs> Just go! Make it simple, you know. Hey, by the time or if you found this letter, then it means I'm no longer on this earth. I hate the fact that she has to write something like this, but we know Legacy's gonna come and get her. He's almost to her. So 
about to reach its climax. Honestly, that's a nice bath, girl. But, I mean, I understand. They was only doing it to tenderize you so you could be, like, ready for eating. But, shit, that was a nice bath. No, honey. I'm about to call her Judy Hops for a moment. <laughs> Finally, you get a backstory on her. It is a little weird that we're getting her backstory like this, but it's okay. Of course. That's the same thing with people. This is the day she'll actually read her name. But still, you felt nothing. Continuously dead. You see, honey, he came to save you. Not really. Just mm. boo boo, fight the fuck back, please.
Bro, don't that hurt? I mean, damn. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see it. No, he's coming. Mm -mm. You mother, you ended. Oh, thank the fucking lord! I swear to God, if they would have ended this episode like that, oh. Oh. I'll always be there to save you. Come on, let's go home. Yeah, not right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is so fucking emotional. Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? Oh my god. Ugh. Honestly, at that moment when Haru was about to get eaten, I really thought she was going to die. I literally say, I was thinking, I was like, he's not going to get there in time. We're gonna do, it's going to, like, end, and we're going to hear a chomp, and the lion's going to, like, bite on her ear or something, and then that's when Legacy's going to come in. Oh, but I thank God he made it in time, because Jesus Christ, I, ooh. My heart just stopped. But, like, that just tells you how dedicated he is to her and wanting to be with her. Unlike Louise. I mean, yeah, we still got to give props to Louise no matter what. But there's a difference between what defines a man. And there is no right or wrong answer. I don't think that, like, if a guy who uh, technically is afraid to do something, you I'm not going to say you're not a man. You can be afraid. Being afraid, showing your feelings and stuff, that that's still also being a man. There is no right or wrong answer be, being a man and being a strong character and such. And both of them do do it in their in their own way, but still, this was an episode that was specifically for Legacy and what he needed and to be entitled and to honestly becoming a man. While Louise, yes, he's still back at the freaking, um, the festival with everybody else when it was raining. And that was the last time that we essentially saw him for this episode. And I'm thinking in that moment, even though when Juno came in and said certain things to him, he was still having regrets and wondering why the hell he didn't go. I get the fact that you're afraid. A lot of us are afraid of doing things that we don't want to do or that we have to do. But in a moment, out of people who are, if there's like a group of 10 people and there's a life or death situation where someone, you can help someone, best believe out of those 10 people, one person is, uh, maybe even five, one to five people might at least try. Yes, they might die while trying to do it, but at least they chose that decision. And that's what Legacy is doing. He's doing everything that he possibly fucking can to the best of his ability say, to save Haru. While Louise is back there and just regretting every fucking thing about the fact that he didn't go. It, it's just like, it, it's almost literally with anything. And I'm not saying this is not only about a guy. This is about a man, a woman, a child, whoever. You know, when they're in a situation like that. You have to think of like literally anything where anyone, even maybe including yourself, 
where it's been a life or death situation. I mean, you can probably use examples from like video games or even movies, like especially if you're playing a video game, like if any <laughs> if any of you have fucking played Resident Evil or any game where maybe one of your characters might die and you're trying to think of so many different possible uh, solutions in order to get that shit done and handle that. And sometimes it doesn't go your way, but I mean, in a game, you can try again and again and again and again and again until, you know, you finally get it. But in real life, it's hella different. You only possibly get one shot and you have to make that count. And I, it, like, I applaud Legacy for what he did, honestly. Like, I mean, if anybody else did it, I mean, if Louis did it, I would have appla applauded his ass too. But because of that, I mean... <sighs> I'm just proud of my boy. I am proud of my doggo. And I am so happy that he literally got some balls of steel and just was like, fuck it, I'm going to go. When you are that in love with somebody, nothing else matters. They're the only one that matters to you. Besides your family and your friends and everything. But that person who you love, that is number one, numero uno to you. And you will do anything, everything chase them to the ends of the fucking earth to do anything in your power to just be with them no matter what but it was a damn good episode i'm very happy for my boy other than that guys that was my reaction view to this episode 10 of Beastars. stars if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magic squad and of course i will see you guys hopefully next thursday for episode 11 if not i will see you guys officially on saturday but until then i will see you guys all next time bye